dang it. Bill has started to disassemble an E-Type engine. And there's some interesting things to note here. First of all, you can see there's some obvious differences between the XJS head and the E-Type head. You can see that there's some sand cast areas in between here, whereas with the XJS and other later V12s, uh, these would be plain flat, parallel to the face or the bottom of the head. And you can see that it is really clean on the inside. And I don't think this is unusual for an E-Type because typically E-Types are much better maintained. And you can see we pulled a couple of, of the tappets out and everything's really clean underneath there. And I mean, it looks like this has just recently been put together. Tappets show a little bit of wear, not a big deal though. Uh, if we look at the cams, Cam lobes are very, very smooth. Virtually no indication of wear. And another interesting thing is, if we look at the studs, cylinder head studs, I don't know if you can see this, but you can move them. And these aren't the ones on the ends that aren't exposed to the water jacket. I'm sorry. You can see that these are wiggling around. These are in the middle of the water jacket. So I have a sense that having made at least two worst case scenario videos on pulling heads, I think this might be the best case. I think this is gonna be more fun. Easiest Jaguar V12 cylinder head extraction ever. The new best case scenario video. E-type cylinder head gasket, unknown miles. For my experience, the average XJS V12. The difference between abuse and neglect and proper maintenance. Another difference between the E-Type engine, and in fact, all pre-HE engines is the pistons. Because of the configuration of the cylinder head, most of the combustion chamber is within the top of the piston. It looks kind of like a, some diesel engines look. Uh, as you notice during the piston and rod assembly videos, Earlier in the season, this is what an HE piston looks like. It's got a slight dish in it, but for the most part, it's pretty flat. It's an important difference. You can't switch them around unless you want your E-type engine to be a diesel.